It's the Q. Here is your host, Jeff Crick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground in Santa Clara, California at the Anita Borg Women of Vision uh, Awards, and we are joined in this next segment by a Student of Vision Award finalist, uh, Camila Ashuti from Brazil. Welcome. Yeah, thank you for this opportunity to talk with you all. Absolutely, so uh, we talked a little bit before, you were a master's student at the University of Sao Paulo. Yeah. I'm guessing um, computer science? Yeah, computer science, yeah. We have a major program that it's mixed like with education and computer science, so. Okay. So how did you get here? How did you hear about this awards? How did you hear about Anita Borg and, uh, and what's going on here? I attended the last Grace Hooper conference and it was like, oh Jesus, it's a life changing experience. And then I decided to join the award, and I, I sent my video, and <gasps> I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your video? Yeah, it was about the three pillars that I believe that are going to change the world, and I'm trying to work on them. Okay, and what are the three? Yeah, the first one, it's content, because I think in, in Brazil, we have a problem that some sometimes, yes, it's not important, because they don't know the power of these. Like, you can definitely uh, reach thousands of people without moving, like, your feet. Right. It's just like you stay in your home and you can change the world. So the first one is the content. Okay. The the next one it's education. Uh, in Brazil we have a problem because just like not just rich people but uh, poor people had not they they can stud like have a good stud. So we have public universities but just the rich people can join this kind of. Uh, college, so I'm trying to teach uh, everybody what's computer science, math, STEM in general. Right, right. And the last one, it's about the college. Like I really want to make girls that are already in college and people that are already in college be more prepared to receive these women in the market. Like know how to manage, how to like welcome these amazing girls that are growing up and joining the workforce. Right, because I think we were talking a little bit off camera. You said when you entered your first CS class, you realized there weren't a lot of other women. Yeah, I, I grew up uh, listening to my dad dictating COBOL code. So for me, it was like, oh, Jesus, it's an amazing language that solved problem. Like programming for me was this. Uh, but when I joined the college, I realized like, uh oh, I'm the only girl in this <laughs> class and this is not this is not okay. I don't want to be all these amazing things alone. So I started a blog, I started a program to teach girls how to program and it's it was an amazing journey. Like uh, I, I think I, I, I found my path. That's yeah. great. That's, it's super great that you found your passion. Obviously you're really enthusiastic. So then what are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to go into uh, in, into a career programming? Are you going to stay in the education path to try to spread the word? Kind of what's your plan after you pick up the award tonight? Yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> I, I'm trying. Like, I'm, I'm 23, and I, I had an amazing experience as a software engineer uh, intern at Google, and it was like crazy. I realized that, oh, Jesus, this is so powerful, and I can uh, make code, like really good code, and like reach a lot of people. But in the other hand, like in Brazil, I'm traveling around Brazil to teach girls that have no idea about what is an app. Uh, in Amazon Jungle, for example, and it's it's a crazy experience, and I'm loving. So maybe I I will I don't know teach in a college and or in a small school in the middle of the jungle. I don't know. Right. I'm just trying. Yeah. Right. So what was it that gave you the love? Was it was it your dad and just kind of growing up around the language of code, or was there any particular moment where you thought, oh, this is what I just love? I think it was my, my big influence was my dad because I, I remember when I was like five years old, I just woke up like listening uh, him dictating Cobalt Code and I say, oh, everybody, it's, it's thinking this is so cool and it's a really strange language. I need to know and be part of this secret group that solves <laughs> problems. So I decided to join Computer Science College in University of Sao Paulo because it was a public college. So we were able to offer with the costs because it's not really cheap to right, right. study in Brazil. Right. So I decided to join the CS program and uh, I'm really glad that I made this choice. Excellent, and how long till you, uh, till you get your master's? How close are you to finishing? Just one year more. Okay. And uh, the, color, the bachelor degree is just four years in Brazil. And then I decided to came here 
did I did my internship and then I, I came back to Brazil and decided to join the master program to study a little bit more about education, about how to like teach girls a little bit more about how to introduce Python, for example, uh, for kids that have no idea about what is math. Right. And it, it's an amazing journey. I'm, I'm loving it. So, <laughs> so how do you get a little kid who knows nothing about Python excited about programming? What, what are the tricks and tips that you've used that, that really reach the kids? I think the secret is to make it easy in the beginning. Like, for example, we use App Inventor that it's a, it's a tool that help us to make like in three hours, for example, in a three hours workshop, you can start like from the problem to the app. Like you can program an app and have this in your cell phone and go home like, oh, I built this and this is so cool. Look, mom, father. And I think this is the, the main the main trick, like make it easy in the beginning so they can find the purpose. And then the next steps that are not really easy uh, they can just overcome like easily because they have a purpose right, in right. their lives. Okay, so we're getting to the end here. I want to give you the last the last word. What advice would you give, and since you're now the educator, you're getting young people excited. What advice would you give to people that are considering, should I go into CS? I looked in the doorway. There's no other women in the class. What would you tell them? I think you need to keep in mind that you are changing the world. I, al I always say that I want to change the world one girl at a time. Uh, I always feel that when I am educating a girl, I'm educating the whole family. They are like making, building. Uh, so I think they need to keep in mind that it's not easy to change the world, right? right? And if you want this really truly, you need to dedicate more time, more effort. So I, I think they need to keep in mind that I'm changing the world. So come on, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm a girl, I'm a strong girl and I'm, I'm keep doing what I'm doing. Doesn't matter if I'm the only one. I think this is the, the awesome. main. I can't beat that. What a great way to change the world, learn your code, and, uh, and get an education. Thanks for stopping by. Congratulations on your award. Congratulations on tonight, too. I'm sure it'll be a fun affair. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. We're at the Anita Borg Women of Vision Awards in Santa Clara, California. Thanks for watching.